Hi, I'm Gabriele Tocci and I participated to the part-time data science bootcamp from SIT Academy. I am a senior scientist at the University of Zurich and in particular I am a computational physicist by training and I got my PhD at the University College London and I do research in the field of material science. Specifically, I do computer simulations using large supercomputers to solve problems related to energy conversion and the water purification using materials at the atomic scale. I am really fascinated from the fast developments occurring in data science and in machine learning and they are impacting science, technology, all aspects of society and it's a very fascinating field and I wanted to get more experience and expertise uh, on it. There's uh, also very exciting chances uh, for uh, developing a career outside academia, in startups or uh, in industry, both in research and for business intelligence purposes. The biggest challenge was really to uh, combine the work that I do at, uh, at the university and find the time to study, to learn and to work for the data science bootcamp. Especially it was very challenging to carry out the final project. Making sure to, to have enough time to go in depth into the concepts and to really work hard for the final project, that was the hardest part. During the uh, capstone project, together with a friend and colleague, we analyzed uh, long-term price fluctuations uh, as well as short-term price fluctuations uh, of cryptocurrencies. Particularly, I focused on developing a uh, machine learning model to predict uh, short-term price fluctuations using uh, data that was provided from Kaggle Challenge. Uh, and this was provided from a, from a startup that does, drives alpha, gives alpha, provides alpha uh, for, uh, for investment purposes. I would say between five and 10 hours per week. This, is, this seems reasonable depending on the previous expertise of each one of us and on the amount of work that one wants to, depending on how much you want to go in depth on the concepts and how many exercises you want to solve 